Hello, everybody. And now, for the next 18 minutes, I will take you out of the city and bring you to absolutely different world. <coughs> but first of all, let me start with a personal question. Have you ever run into a conflict with somebody who lived close to you? Your family, neighbors, colleagues, neighbors. I think yes. And have you ever thought of killing your opponent? Maybe. And have you really tried to kill? I don't think so. This is not a human way. When uh, people uh, got, when people comes to conflict between neighbors, they normally look for compromise. And assume your neighbor is a wild animal. Wild animal, no animal is able to look for a compromise. And people? People don't even try sometimes. If an animal makes disturbance, just kill it. And you know, by the way, they are living in the central parts of the country, and here are animals and humans, they live like a close neighbors in close neighborhood. And conflict of interest is an often case. And is an animal make disturbance? Just kill it. If an animal stays on your way, just don't mind it. And so, our world is losing its integrity. And here we came documentary filmmakers. With our ambitious plan to change the world with wildlife life documentary. What can we actually do? We can improve people's approach to wild neighbors. And documentary, it's not only about capturing facts. We can interact with reality, and I will show how our own experience. Uh, and also, we should not just point ugly things. We should rather build positive models and look for positive solutions. And by the way, do you know your wild neighbors? They are neighbors. So wait just a moment. Aha, uh -huh. here are they. Have you ever thought that these gorgeous creatures live here in our area? Shot. All these pictures have been shot in within 150 kilometers distance from here. And these are most colorful birds of the European continent. Uh, they live in nests in burrows. Nice, aren't they? Can you imagine that humans killed them in tens and hundreds? Why? They keep bees. Their English name is beekeeper. Beekeepers, they are very nice, friendly people. But when it comes to bee eaters, they become monstrous. They shoot birds. They poison chicks in the nest. They set traps around the nest and kill, kill, kill in most ugly ways. And we, our studio, have started a filming project filming this conflict. And from the very beginning, we tried to influence beekeepers' minds in favor of positive solutions. We say, you do not need necessary to kill. The nature itself gives you another clues. For example, let's place your beehives in two kilometers from uh, bee eaters' colony. The eaters do not fly, do not hunt that far from their home. You cannot move the beehives. Okay, let's think what can scare birds away. Predators. Let's try, let's make records of predators' voices. Let's use kites to imitate predators' presence over the beehives. Here are the uh, records. Here are the kites. Please, you try 
and we will be filming. Let's find solutions together. And now I will be talking about our most challenging project, Great Buster. This is outstanding creature. This is the heaviest flying dot in the planet. No other wings in the world can lift up body of 20 kilograms. And it runs faster than foxes, more than 40 kilometers per hour. And males are absolutely gorgeous when they dance their spring courtship dances in the step. And uh, not so uh, long ago, these birds used to live all uh, over Eurasia. But today we can find only two populations in the world, self-sustaining populations. One in Spain and the second in Russia. And it breeds here in the region of Saratov. And uh, many European countries desperately try to restore their population, and we just have them here. And obviously, great bastard should be a pride of our region, it should be a tourist attraction. But what's the paradox? Do you know anything about great bastard? Most of the local people don't. There are people who are familiar with great bastard, mostly those who happened to kill great bastards deliberately, like poachers, or involuntarily, like farmers. Poachers and hunters is strictly forbidden. Poachers, they shoot great, uh, huge birds just for fun. They do not know that, uh, not like other species, for many species, a hunter, limited hunter, is not a problem, but great bastard is a different. It is very rare bird, and it has very low reproduction rate. And poachers, they are not aware of the beauty they destroy. They first see great bastards through long-range scopes, and then they see them killed, dead and shapeless. And farmers, uh, farming is even a bigger problem for great bastards in Russia. And this is what we call conflict of interest. Imagine, a farmer fairly believes that this is his crop field. And a female great bastard thinks that this is the best place in the world to make her nest on. She cannot predict that the farmer plans to send his tractor again into this, to the same crop field for the next cultivation. And then truck driver come, tractor driver comes, and he doesn't care much about bird, bird nest. He has a lot of other things to care about. Sometimes he does not see the nest. And a nest has very low chances to survive. Okay, you might say, let's then take great bastards and put them into national reserves without no human activity. Does not work with great bastards. They prefer to stay in farming environments. And uh, what can we do about it? Only some changes in farming methods, some compromising between an interest of farmers and interest of birds can save this unique population. But people do not care. And in a few decades, this unique population can be gone, as it's happened in Great Britain, for example. What can filmmakers do about it? We believe we can initiate positive change. We believe we can make people care. We know secret, emotion. Most of the people have admiration of wildlife, have urge for wildlife deep in their hearts. We just need to pull right strings. We just have to make people fall in love with the world to show them how important it might be for other people. And let's see how, we, how it works. We have started a project, a filming project, and from the beginning we faced a great, great challenge. Here we 
you ever seen a Russian grey bastard on the screen? Never I did. Why? Because this is the most desperate animal. They, in Russia, they suffer from humans so much that they don't let people come closer than 500 meters. You see, it doesn't work for a movie. For a movie, a cameraman has to uh, film birds in 10, 15 meters distance. And how a man come, can come so close? But our cameraman, he managed to, broke, to break this barrier. And we followed his progress. And that, advanced, that problem of filming became our advantage. It gave, it gave us a story. Our cameraman, he was sitting days and nights in the fire. He, was, he started work special behavior. He tried to learn to think as a great bastard. Even one tried to look as a great bastard. And uh, eventually, he managed to uh, make friends with the oldest and most cautious male. He just uh, he accepts a rest near cameraman's side. And this gives us a very touching story how it should work between animals and humans. Then uh, we show understanding is growing on the human side, and we show trust growing on the bird side. And then uh, we also see how birds took advantage of cameraman presence there. He kept other intruders away. You see, it was a play where birds can come for their uh, course of display, for their spring dances, where males meet females. And no farmer, no poacher showed up on the female side. And so birds became some. Uh, come there more and more because uh, they find that this is a safest place around the cameraman. And so we found that uh, what's a big place, big spring dances, the most important social pattern for God. And this is a mold for people. Respect great bastards for the life. Let the display areas untouched and she will give you big support for population. This is about the film. But I'll tell you a little bit that we found that there are some other things related to film that can help a lot to our main purpose to bring attention to great bastards. Filming, filmmaking, great reward. And so we are consistently talking about uh, filming and that all this to great bastards. We do all parties, talk show, quests, we call people singing and dancing for great bastards. And my sister today is also a part of this. And um, <coughs> we also we started crowdfunding for the same reason. Crowdfunding is great. It's not only help us to raise funds for film post production, it gets a lot of people to participate. You know that most of the contributors share us with this idea. No, why we need to change us? You gave us money. Contributors say thank you for giving us chance to participate in something really important, in something real. And by the way, do you know who are the most generous contributors? Contact. And uh, they say, like, uh, step by step, great bastard became something that brings people together. And people around us say, great bastard made miracles. And we have some uh, further option in mind. Film can help us to bring in the area wildlife photographers and bird watchers. Film will be a great advertiser. And uh, these bird lovers by themselves then will keep great bastards on a higher profile. Step is alive until great bastards dance. 
This is the idea that actually we would like to spread. Not this is not about uh, only integrity of step ecosystem. This is about integrity of our world and us humans as a part of it. And hopefully our efforts will be supported in Poland and great bastard uh, fortune will be miraculously changed. And then great bastard will change attitudes of humans. And in a course of time, all of us, or maybe at least our children, will be able to see by our own eyes great, great bastard dancing in the spring church.